Just because budget TVs are cheap doesn't mean they're bad. I'm here to make sure you're going to get a solid picture. Every TV on this list is under $500. You're not gonna get OLED or local dimming zones, but you'll get 4K HDR, Dolby Vision, and smart TV integration. When shopping for a budget TV, bigger isn't always better in terms of price. I find that 50 inch TVs are great because they cost significantly less than their big screen counterparts. If you're looking for something bigger, the models I'm about to show you are available in larger sizes. Just know that the prices will scale accordingly. If you wanna check these out, I've left links in the description. I've also put in chapters so you can go straight to the TV you're looking for. The Vizio offers the most balanced and accurate picture during our side-by-side -side comparisons and comes with some useful extras such as Dolby Vision support, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth compatibility, and AMD FreeSync with a variable refresh rate for smoother gaming. The 50-inch model is regularly priced at $330, but is often on sale for less, which also makes the Vizio V-Series one of the cheapest TVs on our list. The picture accuracy on the V-Series is clearly a step ahead of the pack. When calibrated for a dark room, colors appear more accurate. Black levels also appear darker, which gives the V-Series slightly more contrast than the other TVs on this list. It's not the brightest TV in the world, but it looked just fine in a well-lit room and was able to maintain its serviceable blacks and accurate color during light-filled viewing sessions. Gaming on the Vizio was fine, but the picture was less vivid and more washed out in gaming mode. The Vizio is the only entry-level TV on this list to offer AMD FreeSync and a variable refresh rate, but the frame rate never dropped below 60 frames when I was playing, so we never saw the variable refresh rate in action. The biggest downside of the video is its smart TV platform, Vizio SmartCast. It's crowded and navigating around is so sluggish that using the voice search feature might actually be faster. Luckily, it's easy enough to switch out your smart TV platform. Many streaming devices are on sale during the holidays and it should be possible to install a new TV smart platform for as little as $25. Ultimately, the Vizio V-Series offers the best picture along with some high-quality extras at an extremely affordable price, even when you factor in the cost of adding a new streaming device. This is more than enough to make it the best overall entry-level TV. The TCL 4 Series Roku TV was only a slight step behind the Vizio in our testing. The black levels and picture accuracy of the TCL might not be quite as deep and rich as the Vizio, but are still very good. The differences between the two are slight enough that you'd really have to see them side by side to notice anything at all. The 4 Series lacks the Dolby Vision, Bluetooth connectivity, and AMD FreeSync with a variable refresh rate, all of which the Vizio offers. But it does come with compatibility for Dolby Digital Plus Sound and with the excellent Roku TV smart system built in. It's regularly priced at $340, $10 more than the Vizio, but is often on sale for less. The Roku's picture settings give you plenty of control, but it's sometimes difficult to find the best combination for the most accurate picture. It's easier to find the right settings in a dark room, but trickier to get a good combination in lighter rooms. If you're someone who loves playing around with TV settings, this might not bother you much, but I found it needlessly time consuming. This TV isn't going to wow you with its light output, but it's more than bright enough for you to watch any show in any lighting environment. That said, the TV looked the brightest while playing video games. Generally, the hue of the overall picture sometimes has a slight pink tint to it that shifts to blue in game mode. While the 4 Series isn't known for any gaming-specific enhancements, the TV managed to deliver a more than adequate gaming experience for the average viewer. Apps on the TCL launch quickly, and Roku utilizes a simple interface with the best search functionality that doesn't recommend any streaming service over any other. The TCL 4 Series is a great entry-level option for most people and could be a great purchase for those who prefer the Roku system and are looking for a one-stop smart TV solution.
The Hisense A6H Google TV, like the Vizio, offers some higher-end features at the entry-level price. This TV sports a premium build quality and comes with Dolby Vision support, Bluetooth connectivity, and DTS Virtual X for simulated surround sound. The Hisense A6H comes preloaded with Google TV and retails for $500 but is often on sale for less than $300. Where the Vizio excels in color accuracy and black levels, the Hisense falters. Colors are muted and less vivid, while blacks offer low contrast and appear washed out. The skin tones have a pale, bluish tint to them, and the TV as a whole skews towards blue colors. Filmmaker mode, which tends to be the most accurate, failed to rectify these issues in light or dark environments. The brightness levels on the Hisense was about average for the TVs on this list and was certainly bright enough to watch comfortably in any lighting conditions. That said, gaming on the Hisense was not fun. The TV produced landscapes tinted with a bluish green hue and nighttime sequences lacked contrast and detail. Casual gamers might not notice much of a difference, but those who game regularly might be disappointed by the picture in their games. I know that some people absolutely love the Google TV interface and find it more useful than Roku's. While I do think it has its advantages, I found it to be slow on this high sense. Google's search engine also offered up some strange recommendations. For example, a category called love dramas appeared on my screen. I'm not sure if Google thought I loved watching dramas or if I was interested in dramas about love, but scrolling through the offerings didn't bring clarification. Ultimately, the Hisense A6H Google TV is a good choice for those who want Dolby Vision, appreciate excellent build quality, and love the Google TV interface. The Fire TV 4 series is one of the most basic TVs on this list, but is also one of the most expensive. It retails for $470, though it's often on sale for $350 at Amazon. The 4 Series doesn't offer Dolby Vision or any perks for gamers like AMD FreeSync, and it also lacks the impressive build quality of the Hisense. Instead, the Fire TV gives you a brighter screen and an Alexa-powered voice remote and access to Amazon content. The biggest selling point of the Fire TV 4 Series is the brightness of the display. It was by far the brightest that we tested, and it looked noticeably brighter than the rest of the lineup in our side-by-side -side testing. Unfortunately, a brighter picture does not equal a better picture. Blacks on the Fire TV 4 Series don't offer much contrast when calibrated for settings for a dark room, and they only got worse when calibrated for lighter situations. The TV produced grayish blue tints in sections that should be completely black, and the entire display leaned heavily towards bluer hues. The brightness levels on the Fire TV 4 series actually do make a positive impact while gaming. Games appeared vivid and enticing while playing with game mode turned on, as I was able to make out all the details of the games I played, even during dark sequences. The Fire TV interface is cluttered with both content and ads. I don't love it when ads are featured prominently throughout a platform, as they do here, and I especially don't appreciate it when the TV becomes a giant rotating billboard for content or ads when it's in screensaver mode. Still, the Fire TV 4 series offers the brightest screen out of our entry-level models and could be a good fit for gamers or those who are tied into the Amazon ecosystems. Let me know in the comments which TV you like best. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.